Hey guys, welcome to my channel and uh, today we're in the practice so it's uh, something different. Um, I want to speak to you about uh, Shoot Box. Shoot Box is a professional cyclist with Alpertin Al Phoenix and uh, he himself is a physiother physiotherapist so uh, he came to me end of April struggling with his knee and uh, str struggling to really ride hard and uh, we sat down together and we did some bike fitting and figuring out some uh, positions on the bike and we did, did it together, so it wasn't a one-man effort. But uh, as you know, Shoot won the Coppa Agostini in uh, Italy this year. So he had a great last six months of cycling and uh, he's just signed a contract with UAE Emirates. So we're both ha very happy and uh, I'm very glad for him. And uh, these are some pictures we made and videos we made during the bike fitting. Very informal stuff I'm going to show you, but uh, we're not going into details. We just show you what's uh, kind of what happened and what we were doing and uh, it's just uh, nice to see and uh, I'm very happy for shoot and uh, I wish him the best of luck. Even of do it yeah. Yeah, I think it's perfect for shoot. It's feel better than what I vorige keer zag. Yeah, it's perfect, jongen. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm sitting here with uh, Shoot Box. To most of you, I shoot. Hello. To most of you, a bit of an unknown rider, but as you know, you won the Copa Agostini in 2022, riding for Alpertin Phoenix. Um, we all know what Alpertin Phoenix is, and uh, there are three things you don't know about Shoot. Shoot, correct me if I'm wrong, comes from a mountain bike background. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's actually was a mountain biker and he's now a road cyclist. The second thing you don't know about him, in 2021, he, he came second at the Dutch Nationals. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Riding for a professional or an amateur team? Uh, Semi-professional. Semi-professional. And the third thing you don't know about Shoot is that he's a physiotherapist. So you first studied physiotherapy yeah. and thereafter he became a professional cyclist. Yep. Is that right? True. Okay. So we're going to get to know Shoot today, we're going to ask him some questions about cycling and uh, see what he says and what he likes and what he doesn't like. So the first question I have Shoot, uh, do you prefer road cycling or mountain biking? Uh, for training I prefer mountain biking. Is that allowed? In the, win in the winter it is, it's allowed. In, the so in the season it's, it's a bit harder. It's a bit harder. Um, my second question to you is, do you prefer riding uh, Lake Bastogne Lake, Leash Bastogne Leash, or do you prefer riding the Ronde of Flanderen? Uh, what kind of rider are you? Uh, I think <laughs> a bit more uh, Ronde van Vlaanderen, yeah. because I'm, I'm maybe a bit too heavy for the steep hills in, uh, in Lies Bastogne Lies, yeah, yeah. so I think Flanderen. Yeah. Flanderen, fantastic. Um, what's your best day on the bike up to now in your career? Yeah, I think it was the Razor on the Coppa Agostoni. The yeah. Coppa Agostoni it's called, uh, I pronounced it wrong, but that doesn't matter. I said Coppa Agostini, but it's Coppa no Agostoni, problem. <laughs> no problem. Next question, what's your worst day ever on the bike? Uh, don't really know, I think, I never crashed really hard, I think. Yeah, when I had to quit because of an injury. Okay, so the beginning, the beginning of 2022. Nah, yeah, maybe also that day. It was also a, a few years back. A few years it was back. one of the last races and it was raining and I had an injury and I was dropped and I couldn't find the, the bus of the team. So I was searching <laughs> oh. for the bus in the rain and I was like, yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is right. miserable. How many years ago was that? I think four years ago. Four years ago, okay. Um, what race would you like to ride the most? Is it Tour de France or is it a one day race? What would you prefer to ride the most that you haven't ridden yet? Mm. Your favorite race? Yeah, I'm curious to ride like a Grand Tour, like the Giro d'Italia. Yeah. yeah. And if it's a one day race? Um, yeah, 
than on for Flandre. On for Flandre. Yeah. What about the Strade Bianchi? Yeah, I think I also, it's a really beautiful race. It's yeah. a bit new, yeah. but I think it's like yeah, almost just the the status of a classic. Status of a classic. Yeah. yeah. So you'd like to ride that as well? Yeah. All right. What's his favorite city? Utrecht or Amsterdam? Utrecht. Of Utrecht. Course, yeah. That's a real Utrecht river, and Utrecht's in the middle of the country. It's much prettier and much cooler than Amsterdam will ever be. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for cyclists. Oh, I have gloves on because I just treated Schult, yeah. so it looks a bit weird. You know, guys know that. I'm not scared of him. <laughs> okay. Um, is it okay? As a professional cyclist or as an amateur cyclist, to have a saddle bag behind your saddle when you cycle, yeah, or is that not done? I have one on my bike right now, and I even, <laughs> and I even have mud guards. So okay, for me it is okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, my next question is: it, As a professional cyclist, we ride in the same area. Is it okay to latch onto your back wheel and ride with you when you pass, or do you get irritated by that? Uh... If you say like hi and yeah yeah and, and maybe ask then it's okay for it's me okay. and smile or something like that if okay. you let me know then it's okay <laughs> okay and if you're just behind me and yeah then it's a bit weird okay because I have a strange story I was cycling from here to the pyramid and uh, I've been cycling since 1985 and I've never experienced that um, a guy passed me and he was going maybe two or three k's an hour faster than I was so I left onto his back wheel and after ten seconds he turned around and said. Can you please get off my back wheel? I prefer to cycle alone. So it's just like, wow, yeah. what is this? I've never experienced that in, no. in, 20, in, in 40 years of cycling almost. I was like, wow, I've got to ask this question. How do you feel about that as a professional? But if the guy's friendly and he's yeah. talking to you, it's okay. If he's just friendly and just waves before or something okay. like that, then for That's me it's fine. okay. Yeah. okay. And if he, if he goes like a different direction, he's like, thank you. Then okay. It's all That's, okay, That's fine. Fantastic. Um, the next question is, uh, Shoot, um, do you prefer riding on tubeless, tubeless or clinches? I think tubeless, but in races, uh, tubulars are also great. Tubulars are yeah. also great, fantastic. And the last question, because we all know he's going to UAE Emirates next year for a two year contract, we have to ask him the big question Do you like, do you prefer a Canyon bike or do you prefer Colnago? Uh, or no answer. This year I prefer uh, Kenyan, and next year I prefer Konga. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, to show you guys, I just treated him. I'm not scared of him. Thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, we wish you lots of luck this, uh, the next two years. And uh, I hope you win some more big races and that the Colnago and the UAE will be good for you. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Thanks.